we do still have more questions about the politics, how the attempted assassination of former President Trump will affect things inside the convention hall. So for more on that, I want to bring in chief election and campaign correspondent Bob Costa. Uh, Bob, very glad to have you here today. How do things change now? This is not going to be anything contested. Sometimes conventions are moments where politicians come together and fight about the platform, fight about the nomination. Every single Republican I've spoken to here in Milwaukee, they want to come together around former President Trump. They expect the former president to perhaps arrive here to the arena today as people rally around his nomination and also to possibly announce his VP pick sometime later today. But behind the scenes, he's recounting to his friends and family what it felt like to have a bullet go right by his ear. Yeah. You know, these are scripted affairs, but there are often surprises, at least historically. We remember Ted Cruz in 2016, his non-endorsement of Donald Trump. Nikki Haley is speaking. What do we expect from her? She is going to try to make a message for traditional Republicans to listen to Trump. They may not like him. They may be frustrated with his legal challenges, his conduct in the past, but her appearance here has a real political impact because she is someone who has been highly critical of Trump. But to show up in politics, everything's about action. So it's like that in life, too. She's not just releasing her delegates. She's saying, I'm here to support Trump from that stage. it would be very interesting to see what her reception is here. After all, these delegates, if they were traditional Republicans 10 years ago, they are now Trump Republicans. And probably not the VP pick. Look for North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, or Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Those are the finalists at this time. We will see, and we'll keep talking to you, Bob. Thank you very much.